For over three decades, NEXRAD, our nation's primary radar system, has been the gold standard in weather forecasting. Deployed in the early to mid-1990s, this network has been the backbone of severe weather warnings. However, it's reaching the end of its designed lifespan. They are still the world-class gold standard radar across the entire world for detection of severe weather. However, they're becoming more costly to maintain, and because of that, we will have to look for a replacement. With the Radar Next program, we want to improve radar technology with more rapid updates, faster scanning, flexible scanning, and we will look at PAR technology as a potential solution for that. In contrast to dish antennas, phased array antennas use thousands of smaller antennas that we can control individually to point the beam in different directions. We can also electronically change the shape of the beam. So this combination of electronic beam steering and beam forming allows for unprecedented flexibility to scan the atmosphere. Phase ray radar allows you to scan the atmosphere much more quickly in the vertical and get updates from storms in an adaptive way to where we can look at that particular storm many more times versus having to wait for the scan to come back around. Phase array radar, because of its flexibility, allows that radar to be the radar when and where you need it. It can scan the parts of the storm that are important. It can scan the parts of the atmosphere that we need when we need them in order to provide the best forecast and the best decision points for our end users. NSSL has more than six decades of experience in cutting edge radar science. And the Radar Next program is excited to continue to leverage their expertise moving forward to find a solution for the national radar capability replacing NextRed. NSSL has truly been a leader in weather radar for well over 60 years, developing innovative technology such as Doppler, such as uh, dual pole, and in 2003, we started our journey working with the phased array radar. At that time, the Navy gave us an antenna that they used on their ships to track missiles, and we combined that with the technology of our weather radars to create the very first phased array radars for weather observations. At that same time, NSSL was developing dual polarization radar and showing the benefits of that, which gives you basically a horizontal and vertical view of the raindrops or the hailstones. Our old face ray radar did not include that technology. So in 2016, we partnered with other government agencies, industry, and academia to build the Advanced Technology Demonstrator, or ATD. The primary objective of the Advanced Technology Demonstrator was to demonstrate that dual pole and phased ray radar could work together and provide us quality uh, radar data that forecasters need. By 2023, NSSL researchers were able to demonstrate they could effectively calibrate the two technologies, in essence reinventing phased array radar and further pushing its already impressive capabilities. And it doesn't end there. As much success as we've had with this program, there's still a number of capabilities that we'd like to explore with this technology. The sky's the limit, pun intended. Like you can see in real time the, the RFD surging out here. NSSL has begun testing phased array for operations. Through the NOAA hazardous weather test bed, National Weather Service forecasters are working case studies and comparing PAR data to current radar data. So far, the feedback is overwhelming. The rapid updates really bring the storm to life. You can see things evolving so much more clearly. There aren't these periods of time where you're not getting data. Sitting down and actually looking at the data um, really opened my eyes to what this data can provide for warning forecasters, um, specifically a temporal resolution. And by getting those more rapid, low-level scans, it definitely can give you confidence to issue warnings quicker um, and to extend that lead time to protect life and property. Forecasters and either other end users always mention how they can just see what's occurring. They don't have to think about what is coming next. Instead of having snapshots in time, you're actually watching it unfold without having to try to fill in the gaps between. With such promising results already, PAR stands as a paradigm shift solution for the future of weather radar. In 2024 alone, the U.S. has already faced more than a dozen disasters that resulted in loss of life and caused at least a billion dollars in damage making advanced radar technology more critical than ever. PAR allows forecasters to provide better and faster information to the American people when severe weather threatens, ultimately helping us to meet the no-emission goal of saving lives and protecting property.
phased array radar as a replacement for the NETRAD system is the only thing that can fundamentally transform the way we think of radar data, being the radar that provides the data that we need, where we need it, and when we need it. If we want to continue to be a world leader in weather technology, it's important that we invest in ourselves. An investment in PAR is an investment in our future.